Hello, little eagles. I hope you're doing well at home. I have for you today the instruments and their families. In packet number four, every class grades K to two is going to have an activity or two involving the instruments. Normally, when we learn about this in music class, we do a lot of more interactive activities where we listen to music, we might move to the music or color to the music. And then as you go to Eagle View, we do some things with groups. So we continue learning about the instruments all throughout the elementary schools. However, we're not able to be together to learn about them in that way. So we're going to learn about them the virtual way through this video. So I have some resources to share. Hopefully they will all cooperate with me. So here we go. So we have the instrument families. There are four families of instruments. We have the strings family, the woodwinds family, the brass family, and the percussion family. First family I'd like to show you is the woodwind family. These instruments are played just by blowing into the instrument. So you just need to blow in order to make the sound. So in this family, we have the recorder, which you will get to play in third and fourth grade. We also have the flute, the clarinet, and the saxophone. Those are the more familiar ones that you probably know. Then we have the oboe and the bassoon. Those are a little bit less familiar, but they're very neat sounding instruments. Very true about the flute and recorder is that you have to blow into the instrument. You also have to blow into the other instruments as well, but you do need a reed to play. So you put the reed onto the mouthpiece and then blow through and that's how it makes it sound. So you, that's distinguished from the other families in that you don't have to buzz or hit it or anything like that to make it sound. So I have a video for you so you can hear the sounds of these instruments. Clarinet. Of course, everyone knows the clarinet from SpongeBob, but I'm sure Squidward doesn't play it quite as well as that person played it. There's one more, the bassoon. Bassoon. It's very large, so it makes a low sound. And then I have one that was not on this video, that was the saxophone. Saxophone is mainly a band and jazz instrument, which is why they didn't include it on the video that you just saw. And that's an alto saxophone. Sometimes we have different types of saxophones like alto, tenor, baritone, and soprano, kind of same thing for clarinets. There's bass clarinets, which are really low sounding. So all different kinds of instruments that there are to discover. So that's the woodwind family. There's a lot of woodwind instruments in that family. Next is the strings family. Any instrument with strings on it can be considered a string instrument. In this presentation, they only discuss the four that are in the orchestra. So we have a violin, viola, cello, and bass. They're organized by smallest to largest on this page. 
Also, string instruments would be guitar, banjo, ukulele, um, harp is another string instrument. So any instrument with strings belongs in the strings family. Now these instruments produce their sound by plucking the strings, or you can bow the strings, or in the case of guitar, you can strum the strings as well. So in this video, you're going to see them using bows to demonstrate. String family, violin. So again, you see that the bigger the instrument, the lower the sound it makes. Next, we have the brass family. These instruments produce their sound by buzzing into the mouthpiece. So you must buzz your lips like that to produce the sound. In this family, we have trumpet, we have trombone. Those are the main ones that you probably are familiar with. We also have French horn and tuba as well. And same thing applies here. The bigger the instrument, the lower the sound it makes. So which one do you think is going to be the lowest? We're going to see on this video. So there's the tuba, the trombones, the trumpets. sounds like this. So that's the brass family. I played trumpet in high school, so I, of course, think brass instruments are very fun to play, but there's a lot of different sounds that you have in there from the low tuba to the trumpet that plays very high. Last family we have is called the percussion family. This family is a family that we actually play a lot of these instruments in music class. So when we play hand drums, when we play maracas or shakers, when we play the xylophones or the glockenspiels, those are all percussion instruments. Triangle, tambourine, those are all examples of percussion instruments. Now the percussion family is played by hitting, shaking, or scraping the instrument. Piano is also considered a percussion instrument. 
believe it or not, even though it has strings inside of the instrument, a little tiny hammer comes down and hits the string, which is why a lot of people put it in the percussion family. So I think I have a video here of the percussion sounds. And these are not all the percussion instruments. There are a ton of percussion instruments out there. It's also a really fun family to explore and to try out all the different instruments. So here's the percussion. The piano is a member of both the percussion and string families. Snare drum. Symbols. This is called a timpani. They're also called kettle drums, and they can make different pitches. They're really neat. There's a bass drum. It sounds a lot like a heartbeat. So those are just some of the percussion instruments. There's a ton, like I said. It's a very fun family to explore. So I real quick wanted to show you some of the things that are gonna be in your packet number four. Pretty simple, but here we have for kindergarten, they're gonna be exploring the strings family and the percussion family. And all you're doing on these is just tracing the names of the instruments. I really wanted you to be able to see the picture and identify it with the name. Now it does ask you a question here at the top. To create sound on a strings instrument, one must pluck, strum, or blank the strings. So if you watch back in the presentation, I said that there was a certain thing you need to have to play a string instrument and it demonstrated it in the video as well. So you can look back for that answer. Same thing here for the percussion family. To create sound on a percussion instrument, one must hit, blank, or scrape the instrument. So you can look back. I explain those in the video and then you trace the name. Same thing for first grade. They're going to have the brass and the woodwind instruments. And again, they're just tracing and it does ask how the sound is produced. So it says to create sound on a brass instrument, one must blow through the instrument and blank his or her lips. And then same thing for the woodwinds, how it creates its sound, one must blank through the instrument, which I covered in the video. So if you go back and look at that, you'll be able to find those answers. All right, little eagles, I hope to see you soon.